Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. This is sort of a little, well, there's something new in the last version of um, Advanced Rocketry about sending satellites up. So I want to show you how to send up a satellite in this current version. So let's get on with that. What we need first of all is we need a satellite container. So if we look at um, in JEI for satellite containers, what we'll see is, uh, let's have a look, We need one of these now these used to be built when you actually created the um, satellite these times they don't you have to make them so you need some aluminium sheets some titanium rods a control circuit board and that's it then you click those together and you get that now how do we get those other pieces so i've got some crafting recipes for here anyway for aluminium sheets and the recipe for that is very straightforward it's the same as titanium sheets you basically put a sh aluminium plate through the rolling machine you'll get an aluminium sheet and the plate is just an ingot which in this case it says it can be put through the compactor and that's the only way of doing it which is not true at all so it looks like that's missing but let's just gonna double check that downstairs in the room So aluminium, it should just go through the rolling machine here like this. And I will have recipes in here for that anyway. See, so I've got aluminium plates. So let's get some aluminium ingots out. What have we got here? 31,000 aluminium. Let's just take a half a stack. Oh, now let's take about, let's take eight. Yes, that's a good number. And we can then put that into here and they should be taken out as it turns itself on and it's rolling them out and we should be getting plates in here yes there you go so that recipe for some reason seems to be missing but it works still so then you can take your sheets that you've got out of there and then craft those up again so let's take the sheets see we've got 58 so let's take eight of these actually six is a good number because six is what you need for a, a satellite and then put those through there. Let's go around again and hopefully we can see another one coming in this up. Well, actually, there you go. You can see them coming through there. So that's how you make those sheets. So let's now go and have a look at the satellites. We shall make a satellite. I need to make another one for math anyway, so that's fine. And actually, that's how I figured out there was a, something different in this version. So here we go to our satellite builder here and you'll see the interface has changed now you've got a new io port in here which wasn't there before but that is for the empty chassis so you put the empty chassis in there and then you can basically put everything else as it was so we put in some a battery there we'll put some uh solar panels in there basic is fine and we'll put some data storage units in here and then the last thing we need if i can see it which I can't, it seems to have disappeared, is the actual mass satellite. Let's make another one of those if we can. That's actually strange, it may have been disappeared. I did notice something disappearing earlier on, so that's mass detector. And we need two lenses. Let's craft up some of those. Like that, and then the mass detector, like this. And we need a satellite ID chip. So we put the satellite ID chip in as normal and the mass detector in here. And then we can build it like that. So now we should have the satellite container with the mass scanner in it, as opposed to an empty one here. And the satellite ID chip with ID36, which matches this satellite. Now, the next thing about satellites. When you launch a satellite, and it's the same is true for a space station. You launch them in a rocket and the rocket will come down. Now it comes down somewhere in, within a 256 square from the launching pad. Now I always launch things from here. Let's go down there and it turns it off. Like that. Oops. I always launch things from here. And then if I go back to my map here, so I look at Jay and look at the map. Here you'll see I've noticed I've put four points down. Here's point one. There's point two. Point three 
and 0.4. Now each of these is 256 away from, well, it's actually 256 up here, 256 down the bottom left and right, so it's a square of 512 centered on the launch pad. And I found a rocket, so let's go and have a look at that. The rocket I found is over here. You can't see it until you get to about 70 blocks. So let's have a look. Round about, you see, you still can't see it. 74, 72, 71, 69, and I know it's there. There it goes, 61 in this case. So that's the rocket appears here. And this rocket is a good configuration to send up a satellite. There are two that work both fairly well. So we can simply disassemble this one like that, disassemble, and we can then break it up. So this one here was a three by three with two with two things. You don't need a guidance computer. Which this one's a four, isn't it? No, three, that's right, yeah. But remove that marker while we're here. Remove that one. So let's go back to the launch pad. Hold down control and you go faster. You'll also notice in here I've got a docking pad. And in the docking pad I've got a linker. So let's just remove that. Before I do that, let me just remove stuff out of my hotbar here so I can get to the items in here like this. So I can right shift right click this and then it's got a linker in here. I'll remove the linker because I need to remove the launch pad in order to be able to build this rocket. In fact, we need, we actually, no, sorry, we need two launch, launch pad blocks to replace those two that we have got a hole here and I've got the launch pad. There's a reason for that. You can't access the launch pad when the rocket's on it from above, like that. Now we can actually build the rocket. So the other way you can build the rocket is five up. So this is actually the cheapest way, one rocket engine and five liquid tanks and it has to be five if it's six it doesn't fly five and then you can put the satellite bay on the top of it let's get the satellite bay out and maybe i haven't got one yet i guess i've got one good from the previous rocket that we sent up like that now that's enough we can actually build this rocket and should be able to we could last time anyway Maybe it's changed this one, so we'll scan it. You'll see it scans all the way down. We can check that, and so it's clear for liftoff, so we can now build this. And you'll see it goes red when it's built. And it actually just transforms a little bit as well. So now we can shift right click this and put the satellite into here, into the satellite bay. So the one more, it's mass, the mass ID scanner, like that. And this chip we'll use in the, um, in the rocket monitoring station. Well, not the rocket, mon the satellite monitoring station. So that's now ready. Now we can link, the, link it up. So we get the linker out of here. Let's just check this linker. Unset coordinates, that's the one on. So if I shift right click the fueling station here onto the rocket assembly machine here you'll see this line appears and it's now pointing to the rocket. We can do the same thing here with the rocket monitoring station. We can shift right click that there and shift right click the rocket assembly machine and that gets linked as well. It doesn't have a line for this one but we come to the rocket here shift right click that and you'll see turn off GAI that this actually fueled up ready to go so we can now launch this rocket so let's do that and you'll see also I've got the red the, glow, the, uh, the red stone is enabled so we can just launch this now and up it goes it'll go up very slowly because it's just got one uh, engine but it gets there in the end and it will deposit the rocket and it will come down somewhere within this square so the fuel station is now there, and this rocket station says its altitude is that. Fuel is going down, and the fuel will go down to exactly zero when it reaches its altitude, which is actually quite nice. 
and then sometimes the rocket some somewhere sometime the rocket will return but they haven't figured out how long it takes before it comes back again so now the next thing we do as you can see watching it up here slowly disappearing still got a long way to go to deposit that rocket so the, the next bit hasn't really changed very much we can come over here and I've got some spare let's put it at the top one for example here spare satellite terminals I right click that one and then I can put the chip in here like that so it's currently got no planet as unknown and it will remain unknown until the rockets actually reach its altitude let's go and have a check on that one it's getting there the velocity is going up as you can see it's very slow why I use the docking station by the way is that if you build a rocket here and underneath it you dig out and you're underneath it you've got a rocket standing on here you're supposed to be able to send that rocket to another docking station and I was trying to get it to send one to here so then you've got a rocking a docking step docking pad here and you can also link the rocket monitoring station and the rocket fueling station to the docking pad and if you look at inside the docket docking pad here I've got a linker that's pointing to the moon uh, dimension 2 and it says it's on the left I've given it a name it's moon left hand side so that's also a new feature of the docking pad the, the name bit has changed is come in and I think you can use that for other things but I yet I haven't figured out what it is so this will be moon right hand side and this one be the Z dimension is a little bit further along so X was 103 and Z is 4 minus 14 49 and this one it was 103 minus 14 45 so it's just four blocks further away so let's go back to our, our wrong place let's go back over here. wrong place I should move these around a bit because it's a bit confusing sometimes so now it's reached altitude as you see the velocity has gone down to zero and the fuel is empty so now if we go back here And look at this so now it's got the mass scanner and it has got power and it's got data storage and you'll see that the data is now going up it doesn't tell you which planet it's on but we know it's on it's on earth the seven going up there now what you can do with this you see it's already full of distance data which is a bit uh, from before I think so how much distance data we've got 1000 let's get a data chip out of here maybe I've got one somewhere oh well, if I haven't just craft one up I should just do one because I'm sure I've got them they basically the recipe for that if I remember rightly was uh, in the um, precision assembler so we've got one here now so now if we come in here and we can take the data out of this mask out of this here put that into the chip like that so now when we click connect it's going oh it's actually done it already automatically see now we're getting some random data that can't be right start to buffer it should say we're getting mass data in here maybe you have to wait till it gets to a thousand I don't ask me what it's doing there so that should say mass data and in fact it does look like random data coming in here so that doesn't look right I'll tell you what we'll do we'll get another chip out of here make another one of those I've not seen that before every other time I've done this it works fine no, oh two right two. Oh yes that's right that's a, a slight interesting features so now we see we've got a thousand distance data in here again okay let's store this to the chip here and then connect and that should this time be oh it's still doing it about wrong isn't it i kind of trying to get this data in this 18 data into this buffer but maybe what i have to do is to turn this off oh it is off Maybe I just have to break this block here. Try that. Try that again. 
Now that data shouldn't be going up in here, so we shouldn't be getting random data increasing. Okay. The distance data is coming in from somewhere else. Probably because of the... Um, yes, that's what, what it'll be. It's because I've connected everything up and sending distance data out of the uh, observatories. I think that's also working. So let's get another one of those chips. See, it says two, and then it comes back down to one. So let's take the distance data out of here. We haven't got a full thousand, but that doesn't matter. So we can store that to the chip now, and then we can connect. And that gives me the data. And there should have 24 mass data in here. And that should start to fill up as time increases, I think. We can now put the data block back again. So it's got one. And that will actually that will should start to fill in that buffer but maybe I have to put this block back over here in fact it's likely it's going to disappear because this is turned on here and that will enable the um, because that's on it will enable us to send data out might actually have enough let's have a look again 121 type math data so that's increased actually quite fast as it happens so it is now sending mass data it's putting data not into here anymore but straight into the into the buffer right that's it for this little episode i do hope you enjoyed it or learned how to set up the new satellites and we shall come back next time and start to do some terraforming so until then bye for now